Hi, I'm Tony Fleming. Welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. I just pulled the hanging tag off of this brand new arrival here, 55 Chevy. This is what we call a pro touring model here, and what it means is uh, as we walk around it, you'll kind of see it's a little different than your stock Chevy. And then there's going to be some hidden things in the car that, uh, that uh, you may not notice right away, but as we walk around you see, um, they'll become more apparent. So for instance, like the stance, like this has, instead of cutting the coil springs uh, or putting lowering coil springs like that and losing and sacrificing the ride, which these cars are known for, this has two inch drop spindles on it. And by dropping those spindles two inches, we lower everything down already. This has a little bigger set of wheels and tires on it, uh, which also gives us the lower profile tire. And, uh, and then we get the handling that goes along with that. So we have gas shocks too. And uh, uh, the rare thing about this is typically these cars here have always come with, uh, uh, with an automatic transmission. This one here happens to be a four speed, which is kind of cool. So it, uh, this is a really cool car. So let's take a walk around for a second and check it out. You know, I like to talk about paint a lot of times when we do these videos, and the reason I talk about the paint is because we talk about how uh, any car in pictures can look great, but uh, in the video you can really see uh, the clarity of things in the paint, and that really determines what kind of effort and quality that you're getting uh, in that kind of... So what I do is I like to hold this here so maybe you can kind of see the reflection in the paint there. You can read this, and typically, like, if you look at pictures of a car, um, and, they're, and uh, you know, the things are a little bit cloudy, and uh, you know, they're not defined in the paint, and you'll find that those uh, cars there are really not the paint that you really think they are. When you read them nice and clear, it's really a great job. Anyway, let's take a walk around here and look at some of the great chrome of the 50s, uh, and, and I think this is what makes uh, people so happy uh, when they see these cars driving down the road. Now, I like the chrome on this car, but here's gone a little bit farther. Although all the chrome and stainless on this car is brand new, uh, here's where we went even more so. When you open the hood of this car, this right here, this is the wow factor. This is what we might refer to as the money shot. Beautiful billet accessories inside here. Extra expense uh, spent on the chrome air conditioning compressor. Chrome alternator. Extra expense on the chrome uh, master cylinder and brake booster. Billet pulleys are inside here. Nice aluminum radiator here. Billet overflow tank over here. These are all the little things like uh, you know, when you're building a car, if you've ever built a car, these little things, you know, this billet overflow tank, so what's the big deal? You're right. It's not that big a deal, but one of these is probably a few hundred dollars. To upgrade to the chrome compressor is another few hundred dollars. The chrome alternator is, you know, 250 instead of, you know, 125. Uh, this is billet and not a cheap uh, uh, metal stamping. This is all billet aluminum. Top and bottom halves is pretty heavy with matching billet valve covers. Another $600. So. As we walk around, you can see uh, how easy it is to spend $60,000 on a car uh, before you know what's happened. Special wiper motor here. This is nice. You know, these cars came with vacuum wipers. Um, with the high-performance engine that's in this car, they don't have a lot of vacuum at idle. So if you came to a light, um, because these don't make a lot of vacuum at idle, uh, the wipers would slow down and almost uh, stop working. So anyway, this has been converted over to electric two-speed wipers. Exhaust system here is nice. It's one of those uh, exhaust systems that's ceramic coated on the uh, on the headers and the downpipe, so that uh, you know a couple years from now, or even six months from now, it's not rusty and ugly looking. So that's uh, I just like to, to to point out some of those things there. Even the rest of the air conditioning here, all chrome pieces. Polished torque thrusts in here, high-speed radials, Bridgestones, not cheap Chinese tires, high-speed Bridgestones, brand new uh, disc brakes on this car. And look at the nice fit and finish on the body gaps. You know, these are not easy cars uh, with their big panels to make everything fit properly, and this has actually come out really nicely. You know, we talked about the details outside the car and, uh, and the amount of money spent on it. You know, just buying, uh, just buying replacement stainless, uh, that you can get, the stuff that you can't get and having the dings taken out and polished. Uh, it just keeps rolling and rolling. But anyway, how about we check out the inside because the inside of this car is just as nice as the outside. This has a set of modern uh, leather bucket seats with a matching uh, rear seat. Check that out. Rear seat's beautiful. Check out this. This is kind of nice because they've custom molded uh, this front and rear seat set in out of a modern car. Right here, cup holders. Maybe you want to sit in the back and be cruising around with your laptop. Just kidding. Look how nice this is, man. This is beautiful. You know, it's a, it's a, it's, it just keeps going. Custom-made console with a beautiful Pioneer sound system. Speakers all throughout. 
All the billet door handles. Billet steering wheel with a half wrap of leather. Nice gauges down below. Heating and air conditioning controls here. You know, this is pretty nice. Uh, the top of the uh, stereo's got a remote control. Console's nice. And look how nice the shifter fits. It fits right next to your leg. It's a great car. Anyway, uh, not only does it look good, it sounds good. This motor here is uh, pumping out a little more horsepower than a stock 350. And it sounds great and runs well. And especially with the four speed, it sounds great as the engine and falls with heat shift. How about I start it for you so you can hear what it sounds like? As we walk around this car, you know, there's so many interesting features and so much money spent on this. You know, we didn't talk about the uh, the tilt wheel and uh, and uh, how when you uh, slide the, the passenger seat, when you fold it forward, the whole thing slides up so it's easy to get in and out of. All the billet accessories we talked about a little bit, the detailed engine and trunk compartment, and how great this car drives down the road with the modern suspension upgrades and things like that. Uh, what a spectacular car to get. For Fleming's Ultimate Garage, we're super proud to present this real 55 Bel Air. Four speed, call us 301-816-1000 and we'll tell you all about it.